Hello students, I am Harini. Today we will learn about symbols, formulae and equations. The subtopics are symbols and formulae, radicals and formulae, chemical equations, calculation of equations and relationship of reactants and products by weights. Iron, copper, silver, gold, hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen and oxygen. All these are the common examples of elements. If you observe carefully, we find that there are some symbols on these bottles like Fe, Cu, Ag, Au, H, C, N and O. Do you know what these symbols stand for? They are nothing but the names of these elements. But you might wonder that there are no letters like Fe in the word iron. Then how did Fe become the symbol of iron? Similarly, the other elements like silver, gold and copper. First, let's try to understand why certain chemical symbols and formulae are used to represent respective elements and compounds. For some elements, the first letter of their English name is used as symbol to represent them in short form. In this case, only the first capital letters are used. Let us see such elements. For hydrogen, the symbol is H, carbon C, Nitrogen N, Oxygen O, Fluorine F, Sulphur S, Boron B, Phosphorus P and for Iodine I. You may be wondering what if the names of two elements start with the same letter. In such cases, the second letter or the prominent letter is added to the first letter. Whenever two letters are used, the first letter is always a capital and the second letter is always a small. For example, the symbol of carbon is C but the symbol of calcium is CA. Similarly, cadmium CD, chlorine CL. The symbol of phosphorus is P for platinum PT, palladium PD. For boron B, barium BA, Bromine Br and Beryllium Be. There are unique symbols for some elements. For example, the symbol of sodium is Na, which does not match with any letters in sodium. Symbols of such elements are derived from their Latin names. Let us learn about the elements whose names are derived from their Latin names. Let us now see the Latin names of a few elements. The Latin name of sodium is natrium and its symbol is Na. Potassium is kalium and its symbol is K. Iron is ferrum and its symbol is Fe. Copper is cuprum and its symbol is Cu. Silver is argentum and its symbol is AG. Gold is aurum and its symbol is AU. Mercury is hydrargium and its symbol is HG. Lead is plumbum and its symbol is PB. Tin is tannum and its symbol is SN. Antimony is tibium and its symbol is SB. Tungsten is wolfram and its symbol is W. Let us see the symbols of some elements along with their atomic weights. The symbol for an element represents the element either in pure state or in combined state. For example, C stands for one atom of carbon in the elemental form. CO stands for one atom of carbon in combination with one atom of oxygen. An atom is the smallest particle of an element. The symbol of an element represents one individual atom of the element. 
Some of the elements exist independently. For example, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, ferrum, mercury and cobalt. However, many elements occur in combination with one or more atoms of its own kind or with one or more atoms of other elements as molecules. According to the molecular concept of matter, a molecule is the smallest unit of matter capable of independent existence. Molecules containing one, two or three atoms are called monoatomic, diatomic or triatomic molecules respectively. The molecules that contain more than three atoms are called polyatomic. The representation of a molecule of an element or compound in terms of symbols and figures is defined as a chemical formula. For example, hydrogen, water, sulfur dioxide, ammonia, ozone, sulfuric acid, etc. H2, H stands for a molecule of hydrogen consisting of two hydrogen atoms. H2O stands for a molecule of water consisting of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. In another example, H2SO4 stands for one molecule of sulfuric acid which contains two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of sulfur and four atoms of oxygen. Mm -hmm.